Onchocerciasis, also known as river blindness, is a subcutaneous filariasis caused by Onchocerca volvulus. This parasitic infection is found almost exclusively in sub-Saharan Africa, but small pockets of the disease can be found in Central America, South America, and Yemen. It is estimated that about 37 million people are infected worldwide, with 99% of these cases occurring in Africa. Importantly, it is second only to trachoma as the leading infectious cause of blindness. Onchocerciasis is transmitted by the black fly, as shown on the right. The life cycle of O. volvulus is similar to that of Loa Loa, with the exception that transmission to the human host involves the black fly. Larvae mature into adult worms over 6 to 12 months. Females measuring 20 to 80 centimeters in length dwell within fibrous capsules buried in the subcutaneous tissues and musculature of the human host, while smaller males measuring 3 to 5 centimeters move between capsules to mate. After mating, females release unsheathed microfilariae into the skin and lymphatics, which are taken up by the black flies during their blood meals. The most devastating clinical manifestations of onchocerciasis involves the eye. Ocular onchocerciasis has a variety of presentations and is due to inflammation directed against dead microfilariae. Punctate keratitis is an acute and reversible inflammation of the cornea characterized by, quote, snowflake opacities composed of dead microfilariae surrounded by white cells. Over time, sclerosing keratitis, as seen in this image, will develop in the setting of chronic inflammation of the cornea and sclera, resulting in scarring, opacification, and ultimately blindness. Chronic ocular onchocerciasis is also associated with onchocorioretinitis, chronic inflammation of the retina and choroid, as well as optic atrophy. Onchocerciasis also has a number of dermatologic manifestations. The earliest of these is an intense generalized pruritus that may be associated with the appearance of papules, vesicles, and pustules over the shoulders and buttocks. Over time, persistent pruritic papules and plaques with draining lymphadenopathy, known as chronic papular onchodermatitis and lichenified onchodermatitis, may develop. Moreover, quote, leopard skin, as seen on the left, which is depigmentation of anterior shins, genitalia, and inguinal regions, and, quote, lizard skin, as seen on the right, which is characterized by skin atrophy resembling tissue paper, are also commonly seen. Onchoceramata are 0.5 to 3 centimeter subcutaneous nodules encapsulating multiple adult worms, also seen on the right. The location of these nodules are dependent on the edemic region. In Africa, they are typically found along the iliac crests and pelvis, while in Latin America, these nodules are frequently on the head, neck, and upper extremities. The study of choice for the diagnosis of onchocerciasis are skin snips. Skin snips are performed by lifting the skin with the point of a needle and obtaining a superficial specimen with a scalpel without shedding blood, as illustrated in this image. The skin snip is then placed on a slide and examined under a microscope, where microfilariae may be seen wiggling out of the skin edge. At least two specimens should be collected from areas of the body with the highest microfilarial load, which include, as mentioned earlier, along the iliac crest and pelvis in patients in Africa, and on the head, neck, and upper extremities in patients in Latin America. Slit lamp examination is also useful for diagnosis and allows for direct visualization of live microfilariae in the cornea and anterior chamber of the eye, or, quote, snowflake opacities, characteristic of punctate keratitis. The Mazzotti test is reserved for patients in the event of high suspicion for onchocerciasis despite unrevealing skin snips and slit lamp examination. This test involves administration of a single 50 mg oral dose of DEC. The test is considered positive if worsening pruritus from dying microfilariae develops within 90 minutes after administration of DEC. The Mazzotti test should be used with caution 
because in patients with high microfilarial load, severe reactions may occur. Patch testing is an alternative to skin SNPs, whereby topical DEC is applied to the skin and assessed for local inflammatory response. Ivermectin is the standard treatment of choice for onchocerciasis and is given as a single 150 microgram per kilogram oral dose in order to eliminate microfilariae. However, this medication has no effect on adult worms, and thus it must be administered every three to six months until the patient is asymptomatic, which may take 10 years or more. Adult worms can be surgically removed from onchoceramata by nodulectomy. This procedure not only lowers the microfilarial load by eliminating the source of their production, but also decreases the risk of blindness. Disease control programs involve a combination of vector control using aerial spraying against black flies and mass treatment programs using ivermectin. Preventative measures against onchocerciasis have successfully led to the repopulation and redevelopment of areas previously abandoned due to high incidences of river blindness. An example of one such program is the onchocerciasis elimination program in the Americas, which has led to eradication of the disease in Colombia and Ecuador.